Rumors are spreading about a blackout going to happen this weekend after a big explosion in the sky. Natasha Bonner sent me an email today wanting to know if it's true, and a few others of you called or wrote First News as well. Multiple people were concerned. Well, today I went out and got the truth to end your confusion. It's easy to catch the urgency from this message floating around online. There will be an electronic magnetic pulse going through the entire continent of North America. Like okay? Geostorm. If like the movie Geostorm, movie. okay? Listen to her. The rumor is false, but it just goes to show how people will believe even the wildest things that are posted on the internet. We think that because a friend is sharing this stuff with us, it somehow that legitimizes what we're seeing. When in fact that friend may not have really gone out and done their homework to see whether or not this is accurate news or fake news. The real news is this. The Defense Department and local radio operators are doing a nationwide test this weekend. It's a simulation of a solar storm and impacts of a failure on the power grid. The military transmits on frequencies that they're allocated and we transmit on frequencies we're allocated, but we can each listen to each other and therefore the messages can be passed. Radio operators will jump on the air and start asking questions. Uh, Medical infrastructure, uh, fully functional or uh, decrease in capacity? There's 10 questions, like if the lights are on and the water is still running. They'll report the answers. But this test comes as North Korea is mouthing off about launching an electromagnetic pulse. The timing is a coincidence, and people are crossing fact with threats. Now you say this is only a test. That's what this is. It's only a test. You won't even know it's taking place unless you happen to be near an amateur radio operator and can listen. There will be no actual power outages. It's kind of sad that that, that happens and people aren't turning to places like KBN and local media to actually hear real news and real fact. They'll believe the internet before they believe the, the, the current media, which is sad. And one more thing to make you feel more at ease. This test has been done every three months for the last five years and there's never been a problem.